Basically, the IANA is an acronym, the Internet Assigned Numbers Authority. It, um, the acronym was developed many, many years ago when John Postel was administering the ARPANET, which was a U.S. government-funded Department of Defense network. And so anyway, when he got that title, he was a single person doing the job at that time, and that's why they called him the IANA. Since then, <laughs> the Internet's grown. You know, it's everywhere. And more and more people are needed to do the administration of this job. And the administration includes registering the unique identifiers that make the Internet run. And so that means when you put a device on the Internet, it knows how to talk to another device on the Internet because they're standards and they have unique identifiers. And so the IANA keeps registries, lists, of all these unique identifiers. They're numbers, IP addresses. A lot of people have heard of the Internet IPv4, IPv6, and then there's some other numbers. The domain names, so if you type a, a URL or something into your web browser, like um, CNN.com, that's a domain name. Mm -hmm. And they have to be unique, otherwise they'll take you somewhere you don't want to go. And then the um, other one are the protocol parameters, which are the actual standards that define those unique identifiers. And so that's what the IANA does. We register and keep lists of these identifiers. But the domain name system simply is a way of making the internet easier for people to use. So for instance, if I were to tell you my phone, when it hooks up to the internet in order for me to um, use Wi-Fi or to get email or to send a text message, has a number address, kind of like your house address on a street, but it's all numbers. So maybe it's 128.1.1.1. Those are hard to remember. So the domain name system um, is actually puts names to things so that you have names for these devices. But the machines on the internet can't interpret the names, they can interpret the numbers. So the domain name system maps the names that we people can understand to the numbers that the internet computers understand. 